A few weeks ago, there was a post on the Overwatch subreddit talking about how loot boxes need to be changed, and I addressed this briefly in my Overwatch Year 2 video, but Jeff Kaplan basically said that they're listening, the dev team is talking about this, and then we get this tweet. This tweet is from DMC Nero that says, I play Overwatch, I wonder that the dance emotes are unlockable just in the anniversary or they'll be unlockable after the event. And at Play Overwatch replied, the dance emotes are Overwatch anniversary items. So there is basically no way they are letting these things out of the anniversary event. So if you want these things, buckle up because you got a lot of grinding to do before June 12th. Now, I want to talk about my opinions on this. My opinion is that it's stupid, first of all. That's just, that. that's the honest truth of it. I think it's dumb that they're doing this. I think it's dumb that they're all tied to this limited time event because guess what? I don't have hours upon hours upon hours upon days to play your game, okay? I I get that I play a lot of Overwatch. I get that I post Overwatch to the channel. I get all that. I like playing the game. I do play the game a lot. But even when I even just in my game time, that the the time the time I cut out for playing games, I still don't only play Overwatch. I play PUBG. I play uh, Dark Souls. I play Super Hot. You know, I go from game to game. Rocket League. Whatever. I go from game to game. Overwatch is a core game for me, yes. But I'm not carving out hours upon hours upon days to play Overwatch just so I can get your dance emotes or, or your skins. And a reply to this from Joel White actually says, uh, uh, sums it up really well. He says, wow, such a thank you, in quotation marks, to the fans. You can spend double the price of the game and still not get the one thing you want. What a rip. And at this point, it looks like the Overwatch Twitter stopped replying but I can see why this would make people mad, obviously. You spend, four, I spent 40 bucks on this game, you can spend up to 60 bucks on this game. Actually, you can spend up to like 100 or something dollars because of the collector's edition. But usually people spend about 60 bucks on this game. And they're not going to keep the events, they're not going to keep the stuff in the event. Like, at least the emotes. Like, I, I can understand the skins to an extent, but the emotes are something that make me mad because they're not anywhere near the, there there's no reason to have them there the event emotes i make that makes sense like especially like the uprising ones they're tied to the overwatch uprising events so they, they all have like a certain theme going on with them i can see why no one would want to why, why, why they why, why, why they would want to keep it out you know i i can see why they would want to take it out and only get it for a limited time because it makes them that much more rare what i don't understand is that these dance emotes that are quite literally timeless i don't understand why they want to take those out they're doing it just to put more money into the Overwatch system. And that sucks. That sucks, Blizzard. It's really a money-grabbing move from Blizzard. And again, Blizzard itself, Blizzard Activision is a company. They need to make money. And Overwatch is a prime way of doing that now that Call of Duty is not making as much anymore uh, on the Activision side. Overwatch is probably a huge source of money from Activision Blizzard. But a cash grab like this is absolutely horrible. I, again, I get the skins, I get the sprays even, even though the sprays are dumb, I get the player icons, the emotes and stuff, they're, they're again, they're timeless, they're meant to be around forever, they're meant to be able to be done and not look weird in a year from now, because they don't have any kind of timely purpose to them, it's really stupid honestly, and like, again, I think that it's just a huge cra cash grab from Activision Blizzard trying to get some more money before whatever comes. And it makes me wonder that as a whole, I wonder if Call of Duty World War II performs, I wonder if we'll see a little bit more uh, lightheartedness from Activision Blizzard on the Overwatch side of things. The other thing that makes me mad is that Jeff Kaplan actually has said that they are looking into this. They are talking, because people were talking about these event skins when someone did the math that it takes like 56,000 credits to buy everything in this event. Um, people are uh, mad, obviously, they're outraged, and Jeff Kaplan said that the team looked into this, and they're talk they talked about it, and that's usually a good thing, because historically, the Overwatch team has been very biased towards the fans, maybe not biased towards the fans, but they've been very giving towards the fans, the fans have always kind of come first, at least to an extent, they've always been able to compromise, and it makes me confused, because Jeff is talking about talking, talking, having conversations with people about this certain issue, and then, boom, we don't get the skin. We don't get the emotes. And if we don't get the emotes, I doubt we'll ever get the skins. Uh, maybe we will. It's, there's an off chance we will. But I doubt we'll get the skins if we get the if we don't get the emotes. There makes there's almost no sense in that. So I think it really sucks that Jeff Kaplan kind of I, he almost misled us to an extent because he said that we were talking about it and nothing came out of that. 
and maybe mislead is a strong word. Maybe he's just taking his time to figure out how to do this right, which I would respect, but I would appreciate some kind of update on that in the event that the Overwatch Twitter announces that the dance emotes are Overwatch anniversary items only. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's my two cents on the issue. What's your guys' two cents? Put it down in the, in the comments below, and I'm going to res respond to every single one of you guys, because this just makes me mad. Uh, with that, my name is Z-Star. If you guys like the video, like, like, dislike, dislike. Go in the comments down below and tell me why you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.